Hi everyone, I am sorry. I don't know what happened. The internet um, got kicked out and so we got disconnected. Um, we were talking to Hope Speaks about um, human trafficking and the risk factors of human trafficking and um, the risk factors of human trafficking. Um, we were also talking about the definition of human trafficking and her personal experience with human trafficking. So, Miss Hope, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. The kids were playing with something and, and knocked me completely off. So I apologize for that. No problem. Um, the last um, time we were talking, we were talking about um, the risk factors of, of human trafficking. So let's continue there. Mm -hmm. um, go ahead and continue. I'm sorry, say that again? I said, well, last time, we were, before we got disconnected, we were talking about the risk factors and how when you um, became a victim of human trafficking, you said that you had just gotten out of a domestic violence situation and that you had gotten married young. And so during that time, you were vulnerable. You were isolated. You had just mm -hmm. been a victim of domestic violence. So there were so, several things that were going on in your life that kind of put you at risk for becoming being um, a victim or a target of someone that is looking for someone to exploit? You know what? Honestly, yes and no, because I, I was clueless to what was going on. Nobody educated me. No one told me about it. I never wrote, drove down. when We didn't really go downtown. When we went downtown, hey, Herb Brown, when we went downtown to um, in Cleveland, Ohio on Prospect, we didn't go mm -hmm. on Prospect. We met my sister and I caught the bus straight. I think it was the Union bus straight down to Euclid, and we went downtown to the Macy's and shop. And we get back on that same bus and we come back home. My mother and them didn't just drive around the city, and, and we were able to see. Oh my God, what are those girls doing on the corners? Oh my goodness, what is happening? We wasn't educated that we didn't. My mother was very protective. We didn't do none of that stuff. We didn't know anything about it. There was no TV shows out that I've watched to tell me mm -hmm. or for me to say, Mom, what do they mean? Why, why, you know, what can happen? So, yeah, I was vulnerable, but I was lack, I, I wasn't educated to it either. All right. I knew so there was a lot I just, All I knew is that I just needed some attention. That's it. That's all I wanted was some attention. I ain't want to, all attention. I didn't want to. Gotcha. Right, right. So to add to that, there was lack of awareness and lack of education about mm -hmm. human trafficking and what can happen. Yes, exactly. So if when you go out and talk to people, what do you want people to take away when you talk to them about your experience? What do you want people to get from your experience when you talk to people? Stop the stigma. I cannot stand it when people say that it'll never happen to me. It no, mm -hmm. it, it you know what goes on in this house stay in this house. I I could just choke some people when they say that, but I would like for them to take when I go out and I speak to um and do my seminars, my workshops, and different things. Um, the main thing I want them to take away is don't be afraid to open your mouth. Right. Don't be afraid to open your mouth. Ask questions. Figure out what's going on. Um. You can have someone in at Walmart and a young girl, 10 or 11, is with a gentleman, 40 or 50, and you mm -hmm. notice the difference. You can tell that that's not her dad or her uncle because she's, mm -hmm. she's drawn away, lack of eye contact, head down, looking poor, looking um, unconnected, you know. And and you can you can see if we if we take our time and just look, be nosy. Shit, y'all nosy on Facebook. <laughs> you are right. Y'all start right. messing on Facebook. I mean, I don't. My page don't carry all of that because I can block you. I can block folks in a heartbeat. I don't care nothing about people for real. I will block, block, right. block. But <laughs> when you when when they out there and they walk past them, they can they 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 don't pay attention. See, right. me, I be, and, and listen, this happened. That's why I'm bringing a wall back because it can't, it happened. But the little girl was this man's um, daughter. But I stopped my heart. I, was, I said, honey, are you okay? How you doing? I just started talking to her. 
you know, mm-hmm. to, to, to kind of pick up some vibes. You know, we, we're parents, especially as mothers out there, we know it's something about right. us that we know when something is wrong with a child. It doesn't right. necessarily have to be our child, but we can feel something ain't right with that situation over there. Right. But yeah. instead, we're going to mind our own business. Because I had somebody, and I asked them, um, someone was telling me about the situation. I said, well, what did you say? Did you do anything? Girl, no, right. I was minding my own business. So right. if we turn on the news and see CNN and you see that same person on the news found dead, raped, beat, and cut up or whatever, because you, and you said nothing. So uh, right. it's, it's deep. It's it's deep. It's deep. Yeah. Yes, I I totally I totally agree. Um, I think it's very important for us to educate our children. I think it's very important for us to be aware of our surroundings. But speaking up is so important. If you see something that's going on that doesn't look right, I'd rather speak up and save a child or save a woman than to not say anything at all and have that experience of unfortunately hearing about them missing or seeing them on the news or hearing the pleas on Facebook saying that their children are missing. Um, speaking up is, is very important. If you don't, if it doesn't look right, a lot of times it's not right. And, and it's never harmful to speak up and ask, are you okay? Because you will be able to, especially being a victim, you're able to pick up on things that other people might not be able to pick up. And I've learned that um, going out and speaking and and being a survivor that I pick up on a lot of things in people um, that some people might not pick up, but that's because we've been there. We've mm-hmm. experienced it. So we know, we know how it feels. We can see, see the, the, the hurt and we can see the shame. We can see the guilt. We can see the, the, the fear in, in people's eyes um, when something is going on with them that's not right. So speaking up is so, so very important, but also educating each other and raising awareness amongst each other because Again, people, not everybody knows what human trafficking is and all that it involves, um, where, it, where it happens. North Carolina is one of the top cities for human trafficking. The other cities, um, I'm sorry, the other states are New York, Washington, D.C., South Carolina, and Georgia. Those are among the I, top. I, I'm states. sorry. No, 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 no. Florida is number three. Almost number okay. two. Well, then maybe my research not up, is not up to date. Florida, <laughs> that's fine. Florida, <laughs> Florida beats them all, baby. Okay. okay. And, I'm, and, and, I'm, and I want to say this too. These mm-hmm. um, massage places that they say spa, mm-hmm. please yes. be aware of them. Those pla- please be aware. Yeah. If it's yes. not massage envy or one of them ones that don't mind advertising and using putting their phone numbers and and having anything mm-hmm. all out there, but if you find a mm-hmm. building and it has three right. words on it, spa, and that's it, <laughs> something wrong. Yeah, yeah. We've had well, what I'm going to Florida do... that's been um that's that's been rated so. Yeah. And there's been a couple that have been rated rated here as well, um, as well as the hotels. We have several hotels here in Charlotte, North Carolina, that have been rated for sex trafficking, human trafficking, and, and of course, um, drugs. So being aware of the areas, being aware of the places, being aware of your surroundings, speaking up when you see things, all of those are very important in protecting ourselves and protecting our children. Um, what I was going to do when we we're done, I was going to post the links of the um, sites that I went on um, to share them. And of course, not everything is going to be updated um, as of now, 2019, um, but hopefully they will be um, helpful in educating people, um, having them follow you because you are a an active advocate for um, human trafficking. And can you just tell us very briefly um, about your organizations? Tell us what you do, what your organization names are, and how we can find you. Okay. Um, my name is um, Hope Speak. I am a um, mental health counselor as well. That's my regular job. I'm an advocate and I do a lot of um, motivational and educational speaking on domestic violence, human trafficking, substance abuse, and mental health. All four of those things that I personally have experienced myself. You can find me on Facebook, Hope 
Speak. Um, Twitter is Hope Speak 4. My website is Hope Speak number 4 at gmail.com. Please message, send me a message on Facebook and I respond promptly. Within the next 24 hours or before, you will hear from me if there's anything else. I am now in the process um, of reconnection to life. And what we do is connect women back to life. We are now uh, starting, and I'm working with um, I'm working with um, Angelique on helping me build a different brand. So I have new things coming out that I don't want to talk about as of yet. I want everything to be solid and in order and ready to go when I open up my mouth and start speaking about it. I also. This is the this is the one that's really that I'm excited about that I will say. I'm in Clear, I'm in Clearwater, Florida. In March, we are going to have um, Clearwater Circle of Sisters Support Group. This will be a private group. The only way you will be able to, and it's not online, it's not on no Facebook group or nothing. This is a group that you have to come to. You will have sessions. You will be able to um, learn a lot and, and be able to have someone there to help you make it through your journey of survival. I will give you more information on all that as well later. I'm excited about what God has for me. I'm excited for what I'm about to do. And I'm excited and ready to help those who's ready to help themselves. Well, thank you, Ms. Hope. Um, I hope that once you get that going, that we will be able to talk again. Um, I think it's really important for this to be an ongoing conversation. Um, even though I am um, a survivor of domestic violence and I'm a survivor of sexual assault, um, and those are some of the crimes that are committed doing trafficking, I cannot say that I'm an expert or a specialist on human trafficking. I would not be comfortable going and talking about human trafficking because Otherwise, an experience that I had years ago that up until recently, I didn't even know that it was possible human trafficking. I just don't feel that confident to talk about that because that's that's not my experience. Um, so I need more education, just like um, the people that are watching and listening and everybody. We need more education about human trafficking. It's happening. Um, it is a movement right now. Um, that's one of the only things that I agree that Trump has done is making it National Human Trafficking Month. Um, but more more women, more victims. We need you to speak up. We need you to continue sharing your, your stories with us and educating us and raising awareness about human trafficking because it's very, it's very scary. I can't imagine um, getting a phone call and my daughter is missing or my son is missing. I, I can't imagine that happening. Um, so I also can't imagine what you've been through. Um, even though we've been survivors of different things, um, they're both very traumatic things and we're both survivors. And I'm very, very, very happy that you were here to share your story with us. And I'm very happy that you took the time to talk to all of us today. Thank you. Can you guys hear me? Can you hear me? I can hear you. Okay. Can everybody hear her? Yeah, because yes. I believe I believe my um my side my life froze up on me. I don't know what goes on when you hear that little ding and when on um, here, but um, again, okay. I want to thank you all for tuning in. Please share this video. I want to give a shout out to Tanya. Please follow her as well. She has some great things coming down right there. Yeah, when someone um, come on, I, I want to also thank and say hello to Brother Gonzi. He's on here. And I'm going to Arizona. So I have something going on. Raleigh, North Carolina. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. 